Welcome back, guys. Here it is. This is the new Bathysera image for the old droid N2L. Okay, it's not out on their website yet. So this is like a beta. The support um, guy from uh, Bathysera sent me the image to test out. So it's pretty good. It's almost like Imulac. There's a lot of the, the thing about I like about this one is it has a lot of themes. Yeah, a really nice. Yeah, picture themes, a lot of pictures, but there's only one issue with the Bathysera and the Emulac. I don't, I don't, I like the um, Emulac better. The Bathysera doesn't have a lot of um, cores that you can pick from. You know, so if I was going to go map the Killer Instinct, you got to do it in RetroArch. You can't do it in the, inside the game, like you hit the tab. I'll just show you guys. This is a new Bathysera. Back and show you real quick. A version 36. It came out a couple days ago. There's a new image. This is their special link. If you guys want the image, leave me a comment. I'll, I'll make the link to it. Because I'm not sure they want it. Um, but the Sarah wants the beta version out yet. They're still doing testing on it. Everything seems to work okay. Yeah. Yeah, the old droid N2L. Not sure you guys can see that. There's a lot of um, themes you can download for this. It's almost the same. It's almost the same as Emulac. Just other than the themes and a couple of the menus. And setting the buttons a little bit different. I still think um, that, that one of the issues with this one is when you want to add the ROMs to it, it's on a different partition. You got to um, network into it. And the Emulac one where you just pop in your um, SD card into the computer and you'll see the ROM folders and you just drop your ROMs in it. This one's a little different. You, if you put the SD card in the computer, you're not going to see the ROM folders. You got a network into it. So that's a little bit different from that side. Yeah, I'll show you guys uh, some of the themes. <laughs> download, there's like 50 themes. I downloaded a bunch of them. Yeah, there's just so many. The Star Wars one. See? Star Wars. Kind of cool. Let's go through some of the themes for you guys. This one's a basic one. Okay. This is the one I had on the Emulac and the RK one up. You guys seen this already? You see, I seen this. Got to scrape all the image. You got the wheel. You know, it's the same one you saw before. Go back. In phase themes. Yeah, there's just there's just a ton of them. It will take you a while to download all the themes. That's the thing. They they have a lot of more themes, but I still like um the Emulex settings is a lot easier. You can pick more cores. Look at that. Look at it. There you go. It flows up a little right there. Coin Ops still has the best front end that looks the best.
watch, I'll show you the, oh, I didn't plug up a keyboard, I could plug up a keyboard, but I'll show you the pores. Go back. Um, it's going to in the favorites. Balance option. See right here. There's only three cores you can pick from. And there's no way to download. Well, well there's no way to download more. Not that I know of. Even if you go to um, RetroArt, there's no way to set it to download more cores. And sometimes you need to download different cores for different games to make it work properly. So that that's a big issue for me. Maybe I don't know how to do it. Leave a comment if you do. Now see, there's only three cores, and I can't set the buttons. You got to go into RetroArt and set the um, map the buttons for a particular game. Whereas in the other one, you can just hit the tab. On the keyboard and set it really quick for that particular game. Now let's load up the game. Pato Sarah. It works the same, but just the different cores. Yeah, you can go in the retro art. See, retro art. Exit. Back. Change the setting. Just change it back. There's a lot. Look this one. This one looks the best. Well, there it is, guys. Show you the new bot Batacera on the Odroid. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and a like, and I'll see you guys later.